So today, let's talk about the equipment I'm using to make these vlogs. Uh, you'll be surprised if not using high-end DSLRs or mirrorless cameras. I'm actually just using a GoPro Hero 8. Not bad. So I was looking for different types of equipment to uh, do the vlog with, and I wanted something simple. You know, I didn't want to carry around a large DSLR or a mirrorless camera. So I started seeing these reviews with the GoPro Hero 8, so I had to test it out. And today, I got my own. Basically, when I'm outside my studio, I'm gonna get shots using the GoPro, I think. I mean, the quality's not bad uh, for just simple vlogging. I mean, how's the mics? And I've actually got a lapel mic on here as well. Or lavalier. I've got a lavalier mic on me. Yeah, I wanted to get something a little more easier to use, something that wasn't so heavy and that I could whip out really quick when I needed it. Um, the GoPro and the reviews I've seen has actually been pretty well. I mean, uh, I've, I've, I'm enjoying using it. It's simple, it's easy, and uh, you can use flat footage if you want, or you can actually use the GoPro color. I'm currently using the GoPro color just to see what it looks like. Personally, not bad. Some of the things you can do with the GoPro are like the hyperlapse. I think that's really slick with the things you can do. Uh, it's super easy to do in a GoPro. Literally, it's just a push of a button, put it in auto mode, go. Love it. The hyperlapse gives you some neat little transitions that you can use or B-roll footage. It is super windy out here today. Some of you are asking how in the world I'm getting these shots when I can look all around me, I can look behind me, you know, how are you pulling those off? And I think you can see in the shadows, I got a selfie stick with a little camera on there. Well, I'm actually using the Insta360 ONE X. Great camera for vlogging. <laughs> Used to not really think anything about it, but lately I'm finding out it's pretty darn good. What it allows me to do is actually point the camera away from me so I can, I, you know, it looks like I got a drone shot going around me. So one thing the Insta One gives me is the ability to actually move the camera around me in a 360 environment. And it actually records in a 360 bubble. What this allows me to do is afterwards, I can see everything in the shot and I can frame it in Adobe Premiere the way I want it to look. It's really slick. So yeah, using the Insta360 ONE X and using a DJI Mavic Pro 2, and on top of that, using the GoPro Hero 8, it gives me different types of shots. It just makes it kind of interesting. And all this isn't really that expensive. Um, you can actually go out and purchase this for, well, the DJI drone's a little bit expensive, but I think the Insta1360 goes for about $300 or $400 these days. And of course, the GoPro Hero 8 had it on sale the other day for right around 400 bucks. So all in all, it's not that expensive. And you can really pull off some interesting shots and make your vlogs a little more interesting. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you uh, actually get some enjoyment out of these videos. Again, we're just starting this channel out and we just have a blast in what we do. And again, if you can, hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll get more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much, and please spread the word. Let other people know about what we're doing here in Cypress, Texas, and let them know about some of the sites that you can see on our YouTube channel. Thanks again. See you in our next video.